All right, we're back with some more Resident Evil 7 Madhouse difficult. Wait, this is like an entirely different game. We're back with more Resident Evil 8 Hardcore difficulty. After I beat Madhouse, I said I wouldn't either do Resident Evil 8 Village of Shadows or Resident Evil 2 Hardcore difficulty. But it turns out Village of Shadows is nearly impossible without uh, beating the game in New Game Plus. And plus, I had my saves are all gone. I don't know why but I can only do hardcore so I think I'm gonna beat this game in hardcore or at least try to then right after that we'll probably do Village of Shadows I don't know when we'll do Resident Evil 2 but stay tuned let's get into it hardcore long ago a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father who was hard at work but the forest greeted them with a dark cold silence the bushes empty Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free from Mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine and under branch, and into the forest deep. Feeling strange eyes upon her, the girl recalled Mother's scary bedtime tales, and her throat became bone dry. Then the Pat Lord appeared. He greeted her warmly and bit his own wing. Come, child, quench your thirst, he said. So she drank the thick, dark blood and smiled with joy. Passing through the graveyard, menacing storm clouds loomed, and the air turned bitingly cold. The girl was shivering in her thin clothes. Then a dark weaver appeared, and with a click of his fingers, crafted mist into a beautiful dress. Come, child, warm yourself, he coaxed. So she clothed herself and smiled with joy. Across waters deep and ominous she went, hoping a boat she found would carry her home. But hunger's grip tightened and her heart grew heavy. Then the fish king appeared and offered one of his many fins. Come child, eat your fill. So the girl ate and smiled with joy once more. Continuing on, she soon entered the forest's dark heart. Then an iron steed appeared, bearing a beautiful golden gear. The creature said nothing as the girl approached and snatched what she thought was another gift. The horse grew angry and summoned the other monsters. Terror filled the girl's heart as the wild wind rose around the beast. Suddenly, a witch appeared, dark yet regal. Gifts we gave, but more you took, she snarled. So more in turn is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. There. She's asleep. What is with the creepy story? She's only six months old. Woman at the store said it was traditional. <laughs> a local tale. Besides... Rose doesn't seem to mind. Because she doesn't understand it, thank God. We moved here so that she wouldn't have to deal with any of that, remember? There's nothing wrong with my memory. You're just being paranoid. It's not... Never mind. I'm sorry. But I'm not paranoid. I'm just cautious. Then, go cautiously take your daughter to bed. I'll finish dinner. It's okay, Rose. Your mother doesn't want to remember him. I can't blame her. All right, here Did you we say go. something? Nothing. I'll put her down. Well, we shouldn't kill our child. That seems wrong. We hey. should leave. Keep it down. Just making sure it's locked. Nope, we can't leave. Never mind. There, there. It's like I said to your mom. That book's too scary for you. I'm really excited for this series to take like a year to beat. Hopefully not. <laughs> Almost there, honey. Oh, 
Was that a ball? One sec. Let's play with the ball. Let's put there our child go, down. Sweetheart. Don't you worry. And then play with the I'll ball. I'll be right downstairs. Daddy won't let those weird fairy tale monsters get you. Kick it. Yes. Yes. Wait. Eh. No, it's stuck. No. No, it's stuck. Not my ball. I have not, I've never been as disappointed ever. What do we have here? Is that those health pack things? We got photos. I hear dogs barking. Dogs are cool. Oh, those little assholes from uh, Resident Evil 7. Why do I even keep this around? I should get rid of it someday. Bro, what's in this room? Oh, it's a bathroom. It appears Ethan is a vampire. Can I make a death counter? Like, that'd be kind of cool. Maybe after the series, I'll do like a compilation of all deaths. I am gonna die a lot. Probably like at least 50 times. Is she okay? Sleeping like a, uh, well, like a baby. Hmm, <laughs> that smells good. What's that? Oh, hands off, mister. It's chorba de la gum. It's a local recipe. Wow, you've gone full native, haven't you? Hmm. Local wine, too. But if you're gonna keep sulking all evening, maybe you shouldn't have any. <sighs> you really have to stop worrying. It's just finding you in Louisiana, the pregnancy, Chris moving us here, military training, it all happened so fast, you know? Well, at least we're all together. You, me, Rose. Now, everything's gonna Seriously, be- Seriously, think we can just forget about what happened in Louisiana? It happened so long ago. I just, I don't understand why you are so- <laughs> Oh, shit. Mia, get down. Mia! Gosh. Chris? What the hell? Sorry, Ethan. Carlos, no, don't. No! What? Why? He's an incredible voice actor. He voices Carlos and Javi. Dude gets work and he's incredible at it. I still think Javi's my favorite, though. There's just something about Javi is amazing. Go maybe move! I should, maybe I should stop gushing about Javi while cutscenes are playing. Yeah, I'll, I'll stop talking. All clear. Rose? What the hell are you doing with my daughter? Package secure, sir. Take him away. I said get your hands off her! Ethan, no. 